I was an MTV presenter interviewing rock stars for a living. Um, you know, the likes of Mick Jagger, Robbie Williams, Annie Lennox, etc. And uh, I met a famous Muslim uh, by the grace of God, really. Um, you know, who had just won the World Cup for Pakistan. It was Imran Khan, former cricket captain. And he really, he became my my Islam teacher, you know, he was my introduction to Islam. So here I was working in this industry uh, where it was, uh, the motto was, if you've got it, flaunt it, you know, mm -hmm. the entertainment industry. And um, now I was suddenly learning about the concept of modesty, you know, how um, it's actually more dignified for a woman to cover her assets and not show them to everybody. Even now, I wonder in, in business meetings, you know, why do women have to wear mini skirts and show their cleavage? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, where, 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 whereas men are fully dressed. And I find it very uh, degrading almost and exploitative, uh, you know, that women have to, you know, always look sexy sort of thing to, 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 to be recognized, to get somewhere in life. Mm -hmm. And so that is something I changed very first of all when I just discovered Islam. You know? And it really was in the end of the day after researching for three years and meeting so many Muslims, asking a lot of questions, meeting scholars, um, meeting ordinary people, traveling again and again to Pakistan and back. Um, it really was for spiritual reasons that I converted. You know, I was intellectually I was already already there. Um, I was convinced, but uh, I converted because I wanted to bring God into my life. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he is our role model. He's our our beloved. You know, we love Muhammad, and uh, we. All women would love to be married to Muhammad, of course. Um, you know, we, we love him because the way he treated his wives, the way, you know, he, he was so romantic with his wives, you know. Um, he was a statesman, formidable statesman. He, you know, he was so caring and, and so gracious and so full of love for everybody. In England, generally, it is a very positive experience. You know, people are... People cherish eccentricity, you know. You can be anybody you like here. And that is the reason why I live here and why I did not move back to Germany. England has obviously uh, had the empire and um, once upon a time, long time ago, ruled the world. And, you know, that kind of um, international outlook is still present, you know. So that is perhaps also one reason why Muslims have... Um, you know, a better uh, are in a better position here in England. You know, they say England is the best place for Muslims in Europe, and I wholeheartedly agree. In Germany, uh, this uh, the situation was different. Um, when I uh, when it became known that I am a Muslim, a very negative press campaign followed. You know, I was an award-winning TV presenter, like a popular icon over there, and suddenly, you know. I was accused of being a supporter of terrorism or, um, you know, has she lost the plot? Is she now going to present her youth program from behind the burqa? Why would I have lost the plot only because I became Muslim? I mean, it was that is how people thought. And you know what? I was sacked from all my TV programs within no time. And I kind of lost my um, entertainment career in Germany just for becoming a Muslim. I never really came back properly on German television. Islamic values are compatible not only with German values, with all European values. Islam is a religion for all times and all worlds and therefore also for Europeans, you know, in our day and age. I'm the living proof. <laughs>